Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're gonna do a chit chat, get ready with me, nothing too crazy. I am gonna use a foundation that I don't think I have used in a little bit. Um, and then I'm just gonna talk to you guys about what's been going on health-wise, baby-wise, and stuff like that. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Alex. I typically do a lot of makeup foundation review videos. If you guys have oily skin, you guys might want to stick around. And if you guys have babies, I just had my son. He is seven weeks now. So I have been incorporating a little bit of like mom life videos there. So if any of these things pique your interest, consider subscribing. And yeah, I think that's it. Let's get started with this video. I actually can't find my Pacifica flower matte spray. I think it's upstairs in the bathroom. After giving birth, I just had everything upstairs because I couldn't come downstairs and I think I left it in the bathroom upstairs. So, so we're gonna skip that even though I feel like I need it, but I don't wanna go back upstairs. I'm gonna use this as a primer. This is just the Bare Minerals Combo Control. I have been enjoying this one. It's like a nice happy medium. It's not too matte and not too over drying. And I still mainly just put it around my T-zone. So my hormones are going hella crazy. I typically don't get a lot of acne, but I've been getting some like on my forehead, like every time I put stuff on, sunscreen, things that I normally use. So it's not like those things are giving me pimples. But every time I put those things on, I feel all the little bumps and I see them right around here. So that's what's going on with my skin. On top of that, I started using birth control, which I think is supposed to help you with... Um... Oh, by the way, if I don't mention the products, you guys know the drill. I'll put them, either a picture of them on the side or in the description box. But now that I, I'm talking, this is just the Camouflage, Glamouflage Full Coverage Foundation by Hard Candy in the shade Honey. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I started using birth control and I don't think it's agreeing with me. To begin with, I don't think birth control ever agrees with me and that's why I stopped taking it. I think we were off birth control for a good four years before I got pregnant. I was always following the days that I ovulated and stuff like that because I'm a very, very to the T on time with my periods and I always know when I'm ovulating. And I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but the reason I think I got pregnant is because we had, this is TMI, we had sex literally like the day the last day that my ovulation window would have ended and i either miscalculated obviously <laughs> um but it was just too close to call and i think that's what happened because usually we wait like one or two three days but but yeah that's what ended up happening so i'm on birth control right now i'm doing the pill and i just don't like it i actually messaged my doctor i don't want to take it anymore it's only been three days but i'm already feeling the symptoms, headaches. I felt some mild chest pain and I didn't like that either. I mean, it went away as instant as it came in, but I don't like that feeling. So I'm gonna try to do the non-hormonal and I think the OB that I had do my C-section when she was checking my incision the last time I saw her mentioned Kaya. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that. It's supposed to be like a non-hormonal birth control so I think I'm gonna try that now. And if we have to depend on condoms at the same time, it's just gonna have to be that way because my body just does not like birth control. And I know a lot of girls are on the same boat as I am. I just don't like it. I love this foundation. I forgot how nice it is. For concealer, I'm gonna do the L'Oreal Infallible. I'm gonna do Amber. It's just a tiny bit lighter just to brighten up that under eye. So yeah, that's where I'm at with birth control. What are your thoughts on th on that? Because I can't be the only one that hates birth control. I also thought about Nexplanon, which was gonna be my first choice, but then, you know, the more you research, the more bad reviews you get, and I know everybody reacts differently, so my body might actually like it, but I don't know, I just, the fact that I was four years without birth control, I feel like I might as well just do that same thing. I do know for sure that I do not want to get pregnant within the year because I want to try to do a vaginal birth next. And even though I had a C-section, the doctor said that I could do vaginal. Like it doesn't necessarily mean that I have to do a C-section. I think it used to be the case before, but now if you wait long enough, your body can fully, fully, fully recover from a C-section and is capable of doing a vaginal 
birth. So that's my goal. We all know planning sometimes doesn't really matter, but that's my goal. That's what I plan. So I don't want to get pregnant too soon because she did say that if I get pregnant within the year, I think she said, then for sure I'll have to do another C-section. The six weeks now that they're done with and I'm healed, they did go by kind of fast, but while you're living those six weeks, they are not fun at all. C-sections, they are not fun. <laughs> Speaking of non-hormonal birth control, I don't know if I said the name, but Kaya is what we're looking into or what I'm looking into. And I think you have to get measured for it because it's like a diaphragm. It's like made out of silicone. I haven't had a diaphragm, so it'll be something new to me. I'm hoping we can make that work at least. Another reason why I don't want to do the pill is because um, it's common for birth control like that to lower your milk supply. And even though right now my milk supply has been awesome, I don't want to risk it. And just this morning when he was feeding, the haka that I use on the other breast while he's feeding didn't collect as much. And it's already freaking me out because I'm like, man, is it really going to mess with my supply? Because this is not cool. So there's just so many cons. I'm already weighing everything out. I haven't used this powder in a long time. I'm going to set my face with it. My baby has been sleeping so well. And I almost don't want to say it out loud because I feel like I'm going to jinx it. He actually gave us five hours of sleep last night. Um, well, he gave me five hours. Sergio has been sleeping regardless. I told him after, I think after the third or fourth week, I told him, don't wake up. Like, don't worry about me. Because he has to wake up so early and he works all day pretty much. So he doesn't have to wake up, but I do. And before the five hours... Lucas had slept at least four hours is the most that he's given me to sleep But this morning I woke up and I'm like, okay, that that must have been four hours, but no, it was five hours and that was Pretty nice. I kind of want to credit that to the class that we were taking We took the taking care of babies class the newborn one and I learned a lot in that class um, Mainly how to calm your fussy baby if he gets really fussy, especially after swaddling him she talks about how a lot of us think that our babies don't like to be swaddled but it's not really the case so I don't know it's a really good class I mean if you have a baby that is not sleeping this class is really good and if your baby is a little older she has different classes depending on the age so um we took the newborn class because our baby's only six weeks actually he's Seven weeks, I think, already? Man, time flies so fast. This is the AOA Perfect Blush in Darling. It's such a pretty color. How are you guys doing with COVID? I feel like um, since the states are opening back up, everyone's a little relieved that you can have a little bit more freedom. But at the same time, the news is saying that this, the amount of cases are spiking again. I think the second wave is going to come. And that's a little worrisome. I'm putting this lip thing on because my lips are kind of dry. Just putting a little bit of highlight on just a little bit. Oh so I finally got cleared to work out. I had my six week postpartum appointment and everything looks good. She said my abdominal muscles are back to normal. My uterus is where it should be and I can work out. I never worked out before having a baby. I'm not like full on working out. But what I started doing was walking. We have a treadmill in our basement. So I started walking and it feels really, really good to do at least that because I feel like right now, as far as weight goes, I have 12 pounds to go back to my normal pre-pregnancy weight. And even if I lose six, I think I'd be okay because I think some of it went to my butt, which I'm liking. <laughs> some of it went to my legs. Like they kind of went in places where I don't mind them being. Um, but I do have, I think at least a few pounds to lose off my belly. And that's what I'm hopefully aiming towards. I thought because I lost already a lot of the weight, I thought that maybe I would fit in my jeans and then I wouldn't really care. But I don't. They go all the way up, no problem, but they don't close. So I feel like I'm at that like four month body, like pregnancy body. So I have like this much that won't close. So I'm not too far away. Like I said, I hate working now and I didn't work out before. So 
I'm not gonna go too crazy with working out, but I am doing a little bit. And since I don't work out a lot, my body breaks out of sweat like instantly. So I do kind of like a speed walk. I've been doing 15 minutes today. I pushed myself to at least do 17 minutes. And I'm trying to do a little bit more every time, but it definitely feels good. And when I'm finally able to do a little bit more, I want to run outside. But I'm still trying to figure out how to do it with a baby because I can't leave him at home. And I don't really like running on a treadmill, so we shall see. So I'm going to have to figure that one out. What else do I have to tell you guys? Oh, um... I don't know if you guys care, but I finally figured out how to do my Amazon storefronts. I always see all these like YouTubers talk about like, go to my Amazon page, everything's listed there below. So you don't have to constantly link things in the description box. Cause you guys, that takes at least an hour to get items linked in the description uh, box for you guys. And I know some people do appreciate it because I like, for, for example, me, if I like something that the YouTuber is talking about and they don't link it, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> It's one of those like first world problems, but I do appreciate when they do link it, but it does take a long time, especially if they're talking about a lot of products. It takes forever to find the links for these products. So with Amazon, I finally figured out how to do it where if you just visit my storefront, you see everything that I've liked in the past, that I like currently, that I like, and I don't even talk about it. So you'll see everything there. Um, so I'm gonna put that down in the description box, it's just one uh, link and then it'll take you to everything that I like. So if you guys ever see me talk about something and it's attainable on Amazon, most likely it's gonna be listed in that page. And if it's not, let me know and I'll add it there. So um, I post a lot of random things like that on my Instagram. So if you guys wanna follow my Instagram, like the other day I posted, I'm a very, very, very big, coffee fanatic and the other day I posted something about what was it a, a, like a new mug that I bought and it was like those glass ones that are double walled and they look like really fancy but the inside was in a shape of a cat and a lot of my followers on Instagram I don't have a lot of followers on Instagram but the followers that are on Instagram most of them I for some reason like coffee and are as obsessed as I am and they wanted to know where I got that mug. So my Amazon page is also listed there too. So yeah, if you guys are curious, the link is also on my Instagram. If you guys ever see something in my stories about something and I don't talk about it, most likely it's linked. And by the way, I don't know what I'm doing to my eyes. I don't know if these two colors match. I'm using the Naked Reloaded palette, which I have been enjoying. I used this like pink corally color and then now I'm using this dark brown. Um, so it's a really nice bright pink and then I'm using a dark brown. I don't know what's wrong with me, but we're going to make it work. I'm going to take this color burn right here and I'm just going to put it all over my lid. I think my next video is going to be what's in my makeup bag 2020. I haven't seen any of those type of videos in a long time. But the reason why I want to make one is because right now with having a kid, it's hard to come downstairs every day to do my makeup or even put some eyebrows on and lashes. Not that I use lashes. When I say lashes, I mean curling them and then mascara. Um, so I figured why not fill up a makeup bag and then just have my essentials and leave them upstairs. And then I thought maybe that would be something interesting for you guys to want to watch because it is going to be items that I swear by that are no fuss, mostly drugstore, and keep leaving video suggestions in the comments because all of that helps. I have been online looking for new foundations and I feel like there's not many. When I say not many, I know there's a lot like high end, but I am not really into high-end foundations it takes a good foundation for me to like even want to try it so i haven't really seen a lot of like drugstore ones um if you guys if you guys have some in mind that you want to see a review on leave those in the comment sections because i will try and review those the last one i did was a shop missa you guys saw my last video the foundation i mean it was okay it wasn't really wasn't the greatest but i think it's because it wasn't my color it was a lot darker than i was expecting so 
that didn't work out. Um, other than that, I'm just trying to keep the ball rolling as far as YouTube goes. I thought it was going to be really hard with having my baby now and like, I don't know. I'm trying to fit it in. I have the monitor here, but he can wake up any minute now, so. But yeah, I think that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about. I'm going to show you guys my cute little mug, um, water bottle thing. It's double walled. I got it at Target. I think it was like only $6. I ended up buying it right before I gave birth because I wanted something to take for the hospital. And then I bought something online that had to do with breastfeeding and they sent this sticker over. It says, I make milk. What's your superpower? And it oddly matches my straw. It didn't come with it, but I just thought since it matched and I, it is the case right now that I'm breastfeeding, I just like slapped it on the bottle. But yeah, this is my cute little bottle. I'm like all purple today. But yeah, I think that's all I wanted to tell you guys. I am trying my best to keep this channel up and running. And like I said, it's not going to be 100% makeup anymore. It's going to be a lifestyle, mommy life, and makeup. Um, but I'm trying to squeeze as many videos as I can because of that. So if I have at least two videos, one lifestyle, one makeup, that would be great. I'm shooting for three, but it's kind of hard. So I'm going to try my best to do that. And yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And thank you guys for being there just to watch me ramble on and on and on. <laughs> and yeah, that is it for today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.